what's up you guys here to do a review for growing up hip-hop season one episode one i know y'all probably like motherfucker you are behind yeah 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 that's about right and i would also raise that <laughs> y'all don't do my job y'all don't pay my bills and y'all don't do half the shit that i do so yes i can i'm allowed to be late on this shit but let's go ahead and get into it so <clears throat> we got romeo and master p uh you know master p doesn't want uh romeo to be uh moving around alone you know because like i said he still has that old school mentality of uh you know what he went through so that's understandable um and mass p said i've been grooming you for this i'm saying he's like come on now come on now uh, well, given a straight empire I don't, I don't i don't know i'm not here for it angela simmons uh like i said there's uh rev runs uh daughter uh, apparently she created her own clothing line from scratch like literally top to bottom so it's not like she put a name on something so i'm, I'm, I'm happy for that uh she and romeo used to date didn't know still don't care um yeah and then we have uh christina debarge uh her father is uh james barge from the debarge family i do remember her when she uh first came out you know what i'm saying i liked her song uh sabotage i, I did i did like that it was, it was nice it was cute probably shouldn't say cute as a dude but i really don't give a fuck let me sip a protein drink i hate protein i hate protein shares i really do um like i said she mentioned that her family has a, a history of addiction her dad is currently locked up on uh drug charges and she's talking to her uncle l and he's pretty much just like just don't do it just don't go see him because he because he wouldn't want you to see him in that state and if I was locked up. I wouldn't want my daughter to see me in that state. And they were shady as fuck for playing that fucking music in the background. If y'all didn't catch it, go back and check it. Okay, so, uh, Angela got this little dirty teddy bear. So, okay, so so now we're going for a stalker angle. Oh, okay. And I'm not really saying angle because I believe it's probably, you know, for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Hey, shit, I got a YouTube stalker. So, I mean, it is what it is. You know, it's scary but endearing. Uh, what else we got? Um, Romeo and uh, Tanetta, that's his girlfriend. You know, she white, uh, this damn third. And uh, he uh, posted a picture of them on, online and shit. And he's getting hate for that, you know, especially because, like I said, I mean, you do have a lot of people who um, don't believe that, you know, black men. Because here's the thing it's, it's, it's mostly when it's black men dating white women. Typically, when it was, it's the reverse, it, there's never really that big of an issue, but it seems like it's always an issue when black men date white women. My whole thing is this, who really cares? And on some real shit, I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate because more often than not, there is a 98% chance my wife is gonna be white. Especially we're doing the whole Jewish thing, you feel what I'm saying? So people need to get the fuck over They said My whole thing is this, I'm all about black love and all this other shit, but at the same exact time, when you sitting here being tunnel visioned and this is all the fuck that you want, you gonna miss out on love. Y'all Y'all can uh, thumbs down for that, but I mean shit. The fucks I give, what else we got? So we see uh, Boogie Dash. I don't know the fuck he do yet. Uh, we see Egypt. All I'm gonna say about Egypt is, uh, well, better yet, Peppa. Why, why your face um, is put together and we can't see nothing in your blemishes, but we can see the blemishes on your daughter's face. Got an issue with that. And there, uh, then you got um, Peppa and Damon kind of talking about, you know, the old school and where they came from. And, you know, they're making fun of Romeo and um, Angela because, oh, that's cute. Y'all don't have to worry. And it seemed like Damon trying to get him some spotlight. Like, this ain't about you, bro. You know what I'm saying? You can't compare apples to oranges, but Damon just thirsty. That's all. He thirsty. Okay, so we're getting a lot, but we're not really getting a lot. If that makes any fucking sense to y'all. So... Christina, she's ashamed, you know, I guess that she didn't reach out enough to her, her uh, father and even went so far as to say, you know, she knew a lot of the shit that uh, he did, but she never told on him. I mean, hey, here's the thing, shit. Be a down ass motherfucker. <laughs> okay, shit. I know a lot of shit about some of my family, some shit they did. I ain't finna sit here and go snitching. I don't do that. I don't do that. But the same as that time, on some real shit, she holds a lot of regrets and you know, for anybody listening, you know, when it comes to your past, you need to own your past. You need to conquer your past, own your present, so you can sit here and be the master of your future. And I'm telling you, regret is a silent fucking killer, y'all. Regret is the one thing that will keep you holding on. It will keep you in a dark fucking place. Do not let regret, you know, run your life. I'm, tr I'm, t I'm telling y'all, I'm fucking experienced. Okay. 
and uh, I guess the boy named Boogie, Boogie, Booger, whatever the boy name is. You know, I don't, I don't know. I'm getting bitch assness from him. I'm getting bitch assness from him because he gonna go to his dad and be like, "Oh, Angela, tight about what you said." Why the? F mm 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 mm. I I, I see. I, I'm not. I'm not seeing it for him. I'm not. Not right now. Okay, so Angela's talking to her father about you know the package. It's a stalker, and he pretty much tells her, "If you're gonna, you know, continue to do the show, what the fuck is on my face?" Beef up security. Um, let me see. TJ uh, Michelle, that's uh, Jam Master J's uh, son. He's a DJ following his father's footsteps. Uh, it appears he has a secret. Uh, I want to. Uh, here's the thing: ain't no tea, ain't no shade, but you know, I mean, it could. That's all I'm gonna say. And uh Christina uh Christina, you know, um had a crush on Romeo getting ready for uh, what is it, New York and uh hears from her uncle uh something happened with her father. And uh yeah, but seeing as how Mario behind, I saw a preview before, okay, he didn't fucking relapse, but yeah, it is what it is. Whatever. Alright, and it pretty much ends with uh them at uh TJ's party and Apparently, I guess the stalker was there. Angela ran like hell. She ran for her life, y'all. She ran. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty much about it. Ain't shit else happened. Rate, comment, subscribe, share. See you guys for part two. Peace.